10 sound design tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro that will make your videos feel cinematic. From easier ones to pro level tricks. Let's go. I'm currently in a workspace audio and the first trick I want to show you is about the ambience sound effects. How you can make it more special because as you know on every scene what you basically do is just adding some ambient sounds. So if you're in the city this could be the sound of the city and some wind. If you're at the ocean you can hear the waves and stuff like that. Now what I like to do is to also add some texture besides the ambient sound which will add way more depth to your scene. Look at this, first without the texture. It's just the wind, right? And now I added a low rumble. This deep bass behind your clip will also make it feel more cinematic. The next trick is perfect if you have a clip where an object is passing by, like a bike, a car, a drone, or whatsoever, because we can shift the sound from the left side to the right side. Let's have a look at this clip. And we can actually shift the sound for the viewer from the left ear to the right ear, or from the left to the right speaker. To do this, we have to click on the FX icon, right click, choose Panner and Balance. Here we can now press P for example to set keyframes, and if we drag it up, it will move the audio to the left side and if we drag it down it will move the audio to the right side. Now listen to that again. A little trick for it is to never put it fully to one side. So don't go to minus 100 or to plus 100 because it will sound strange if it's fully on one side. Always have it maximum at 90 to still maintain a bit of the volume on the other side. For the next trick, let's have a look at this clip. The clip itself looks pretty epic, but the sound is pretty high, which doesn't match the vibe. So what we're going to do is to look for the pitch shifter, dragging it onto the sound and here in the effect controls, we can edit it. We can pitch it up really high, but what we want to do is to pitch it down to make it sound really deep. So we can either pitch it down like by full values or by sand. So this is just a very detailed, precise adjustment, while this is a very impactful adjustment. Now let's put it to around minus 10. Before. Way better. And this is how you can adjust any sound effect, whooshes, risers, and whatever you use. Now we can combine the both effects we just learned to make a really impactful sound adjustment. So let's have a look at this clip. It's the car passing by. So what I'm going to do first again is going to the panner and the balance. To shift the sound slightly from the right side to the left side. Go down and then... Now let's go back to FX, volume and level. Now, what is pretty new in Premiere Pro and is super helpful is that if you adjust the volume right here, the waveform is being adjusted live. So you can actually see if a sound is too loud like this or if it's like fully muted. With a pitch shifter, we can take this to the next level. So I drag and drop the pitch shifter on here and now I want to show you how we can use the pitch shifter inside of the inline effects right here. You can see. It's shifting the sound. And our goal is from the baseline to shift the sound down to the end, which will make it sound more mysterious, which matches the video because the car is leaving the video. We don't know where the car is. So we want to, to give it a mysterious look. Let's talk about Foley's. For example, in this video, I'm going around. So we need the stepping sound. And what I did earlier to make this sound good was I would always disable the sound of the video and then add my own steps. And then add it with ambient sound, music and so on. But while this is not wrong, we can make it even better. Instead of disabling the original sound, we still keep the original sound and just lay additional footsteps on top of it. Of course, perfectly synced. 
And this is how the original sound and additional sound effects are combined and this will make it sound even more realistic. Now let's have a look at the Essential Sounds panel. I select and clip and go to Essential Sound. And then there are four options, Dialogue, Music, Sound Effects and Ambient Sound and we can choose which one our current clip is. But usually Adobe Premiere Pro automatically detects it on its own. So we can just press auto tag and it just saw this is a dialogue. It has more power than the Avada. Which is absolutely correct. Now depending of the type of the sound, so either it's dialogue, sound effects, whatever, we will have different presets. The presets will give some specific effects. So we could, for example, make it sound like from the telephone. You can feel that the DJI FPV has more power. Which works pretty great. But what I really want to show you right now is if we go to the top of the panel, we can find enhanced speech. And if we just press enhance, it will analyze the whole track, remove wind, it will enhance your voice. And let's just hear the before. You can feel that the DJI FP has lots of reverb. And now with enhanced speech activated, you can feel that the DJI FPV has the reverb is way better. And we can even adjust the amount of the enhanced speech. So the key always is to find a nice mix. And for me, it's something between five to six, six and a half. The next trick is going to be really nice if you want to have a change in scenery, a change in the emotion. So for example here, And now I want to make the viewer feel that I'm entering a different world and how to do that. Now in a moment where I'm putting on my goggles, I will set a cut. And on the right part, I will go to effects and add a low pass filter. I will set it to around 500. And now let's see what it does. Without low pass, So it muffles the sound. It actually sounds like underwater. Now what we're going to do is just to drag this right here. And the low pass filter usually also lowers the volume of the clip a lot. So I will set it up. What I love to use here as well is a really deep whoosh. So this really feels like entering a new world. The next trick is perfect for shots where you have an object which is pretty far away but you want the viewer to feel close. So actually this is a trick from the movies. What we usually have a wind ambience. But I still want the viewer to feel like they're sitting inside of the car. First I'll have to add a song. This. And then we need to make it sound like it's coming from the radio. For this, we cannot use the music preset, so we have to clear the audio type and actually say it's a dialogue, which is coming from the radio. Now, listen again. It sounds like it's coming from the radio. And now if we add a sound from the car, which we usually can't hear because the car is pretty far away, it will feel even closer. For the next trick, let's for example take a drone clip, because the big problem with drone clips is that we don't have any audio. Now let's play it back, it's a pretty nice clip, but we don't have any audio. Now we could look for a wind sound for whooshes that perfectly fit, but we can create a perfectly customized sound effect with Adobe Firefly. At firefly.adobe.com we go to audio and go to voice to sound effect. Let's go. And in here, we just describe the sound effect. Waves crashing against rocks inside a cave. So we could either put our video in here, play it back and then record our voice. Or for this clip, it's actually pretty simple. I want it to be loud and then be more quiet. Let's, let's just generate it and see what it sounds like. We'll also get some different options to choose from. Oh, I like this one the most. And right here, I can just download it and drag it into Premiere Pro.
Nice, now let's combine it with a low rumble again. And that's how you can customize any sound effect pretty easily. And now there's a way to make it sound even more scenic and epic. By pressing command R and changing the speed to maybe around 50. So we're going to slow it down and we are not going to maintain the audio pitch. So it will play back slower, but also pitch it down even more. And then if we slow down our clip as well and play it back, or even let's put the sound to 25% speed. Play it back. This is how you can make the sound effect match your slow motion video. Slow it down and add some reverb and even use the pitch shifter to adjust the pitch. Happy creating.